Uh, everybody's really interested in what Dr. Ka has to say, and he can confirm or deny or refuse to confirm or deny that this is the case. Um, everyone's interested in what Dr. Ka has to say, because many people believe he will be a presidential candidate in Taiwan for the 2024 elections. Um, so uh, his, his views are uh, of great interest to people in Taiwan and of great interest to people around the world. Uh, we welcome him here today. It's very gracious of you to stop at Columbia University during your visit to the United States. And we're proud to have you here today. Thank you for coming. So, of course, in Taiwan, we have the current two major parties will be the KMT and the DPP. So, that stands for the Kuomintang and the Democratic Progressive Party. And now there is this rise of the third force, and that's where we are, and that's why we're here. So 還是第一島鏈的中樹,還是印太區的一個重點,這是我們要曉得的。So I'm indeed running for the president for the next election. And uh, I there are two goals, and so the the purpose for this particular trip twofold. Uh, of course, we're here to know and to be known. And um, I think more specifically, I really want to uh, think that um, it is inevitable for me to come to here uh, as a presidential candidate. And that um, there are two things, especially that, that I want to um, so accomplish during this trip. The first one is definitely to, to learn about um, how you know, the United States is the, the strongest power in the world right now and uh, a very, very important allies of Taiwan. And for the purpose of national security, this is definitely a place that we need to um, pay close attention to. And the second reason that we're here is because that uh, we also want to take a uh, closer look on not only how we see uh, the world, but how the world see us, Taiwan. So especially if, uh, the perspective of the United States, how they uh, see Taiwan and Taiwan issues. And I do think that whether or not they see us as an island or as the center of the, the first island chain, or whether or not this is the core strategic position of the Indo-Pacific uh, realm. So those are the reason why I'm here. <laughs> so it feels a little bit stuffy here. Or maybe turn on the AC. <laughs> yeah, too, too much CO2 here. Okay, then why is it to be known? Well, I'm going to say that percent of the people in terms of to be known, uh, I do think that just in general, uh, the, here in the United States, probably 99% of the people, they don't even know about the two major parties in Taiwan, let alone the third force current going on in Taiwan. So that will be one of our missions as well, to introduce not only the party, but also me as a presidential candidate. Oh, 還有我們說明一下,台灣在過去30年以上,對於這個政治的進程,我們我的個人的一個interpretation,還有一個是到底我想要改變台灣的什麼東西,台灣的政治運動,再就是說說他民眾黨的中心思想跟基本主張。
So these are the four areas I want to pay closer attention to. The first one is the political parties in Taiwan and its current state. And for me, from my own personal viewpoints and the, the, the Taiwan's political progress and development in the past 30 years, and also how I uh, can transform the Taiwan's political culture and what I have been doing and what I have done so far. And the last one will be the TP, uh, TPP's core values and principle. Oh. <coughs> 那台湾有两个主要政党嘛，DPP跟KMT。那从两千年以后，台湾有另外所谓代表第三势力的四个政党，就是亲民党、时代力量、新党跟台联。那我们是第五个哈出现。So uh, as I mentioned before, the two major parties would be the DPP and the KMT. And since uh, year 2000, we have uh, the four. Uh, third force parties that they are the people first party, the new power party, the new party, and also the Taiwan Solidarity Union, and the TPP is the fifth among the third force. 在參選2024的總統你在哈,作為台灣民眾黨的主席呢,我們必須回答兩個問題,第一條 既然你在哈,以前有國民黨跟民進黨,那請問為什麼需要台民眾黨的第一條,第二條,那前面已經有四個被泡沫化的,你為什麼不是第五個會被泡沫化的?所以就說我們跟其他兩個主要政黨有什
，还是维持现状以后再统一，还是维持现状以后再独立 ？Anyway, at this moment， 九十 percent 的是主张维持现状。那如果九十 percent 的都主张维持现状，那么我们为什么不处理我们现在的问题，然后处理那个？也许几十年后的统独，统独的问题。And I want to add something about the the two ideas proposed by the KMT. One is ditching the DDP, and also the other one is a non-green correlation. Personally, I do not agree with either one of them. And、um, just to bring in some statistics to the discussions that currently,、uh, based on the the most current poll, seventy seven percent of the Taiwan people. Support independence. Three percent support unification. Ninety percent of them support the idea of maintaining status quo. So, if that's indeed the case, why are we struggling against or bickering about the issues that we might have to eventually、uh, resolve decades from now? So, that ninety percent、uh, status quo, including. Maintaining a status quo now and resolve the issues, whether or not it's unification, whether or not it's、um, independence in the future. But right now, ninety percent is ninety percent. That is the consensus. 就我算对那七 percent 的主张独立或三 percent 的主张统一的人，在现阶段也不可能。在现阶段，台湾有可能跟大陆统一吗？不可能。台湾有可能跟有可能去搞独立吗？也不可能。那所以导致讲哦 ，status quo， 你看哈，所谓的维持现状，这不要说是唯一的选择，事实上这是不得已的选择。So looking closely to the one percent, I'm sorry, to the seven percent independence and three percent unification, we really need to ask ourselves the questions: Is it even possible to actually for unification with China at this point, at this juncture? And similarly, is it even possible to、uh, talk about independence at this particular juncture? So, for us to maintain status quo, it is our only choice、um, at this point. 那也有人在讲说，啊，也许我们有为三十年后的世界哈、哦、在努力，就统独问问题，我们可以为三十年后的统独问题哈、哦、去主张一下。那如果这样的话，就说那你们把三十年后的选票投给国民党跟民进党，把你现在的选票投给台湾民众党。So we really want to take a long-term view on the world situations and thinking about whether or not the issues between across、uh, Taiwan Straits will be unification or independence thirty years from now. Then maybe we should ask people thirty years from now to. Uh, vote uh, to give their vote for the KMT and the DPP, but give their vote now to TPP. Forward, no, 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 back. <coughs> 那所以简单的讲一下，其实台湾民众党哦的出现，就是说我们跟国民党、民进党，它最重要是一个政治价值的不同。我觉得我们要处理的是。现在的问题，那现在的问题，这个是要用一个比较企业的精神来处理的，所以我们不太喜欢用过去的国民两党那那种统治的方式。第一点，第二点哦，刚才在讲说，台湾民众党跟那的其他四个第三势力有什么不一样？我想有很重要、很重要的不同点是。其他四个党都是成立那一天民调最高，然后一路下降。只有台湾民众党是倒过来，它是慢慢在上升。所以在过去三年半当中，哈，它在台湾的制度都是慢慢上升。我觉得很这个很重要的理由是，哈，我们比较认真的，就是我们从一个新兴的政党，你知道哈，然后慢慢上去。那其他四个都是从旧有政党 speed off 出来，你知道，然后他就。出来以后，那慢慢掉下去，所以这是有两个，那这是一个很大的不同。所以到现在为止，你知道哈，没有任何迹象，你知道哈，台湾民众党会像其他四个党一样哈，泡沫化。So I think what make TPP stands out in this current、uh, current political context is because we have very very different 
political values as a party. And we focus very much on the here and now and the, the issues that we can deal with here and now. And we also bring enterprise spirits and culture into public service. And this is uh, the, the, uh, the areas that really set us apart from the other four full force parties that uh, all of them actually have the highest support while uh, when they are, uh, were first established and then the support dwindled later after. Uh, it's not the same for the TPP party. Our party actually started in 2019 and our support has been increasingly um, growing and for the past three and a half years. So I do think that that is uh, the result of our hard work and that we take what we do very seriously and we do it with rigor and sincerity. So you can say that the important question is that 民進黨有什麼不一樣,就是說我們沒有現在這種統獨的意識形態,這第一點,第二點,台民眾黨到現在為止沒有任何跡象,他會跟以前的四個政黨一樣蓬勃化,這大家所有沒有先回答這兩個
，这已经超过九十 percent 的人。所以从我是中国人一直变成我是台湾人，这到底是怎么发生的？这是一个问题啊。So as we progress forward、uh, as a country, that、uh, there is this, there was this Greater China, I am Chinese、uh, sensibility in the beginning, and then、uh, when you reach, when we reach the 2016, the DP,、uh, DPP party completely control and dominated administrative and legislative realm,、uh, we have seen dramatic transformation of how people react to the questions such as, are you Chinese? Are you Taiwanese? Are you at once Taiwanese and Chinese? And so, to these questions, during the beginning of the 1980s, 80% of the people in Taiwan choose to identify themselves as Chinese, more than 80%. And then, fast forward to 2016, after DPP completely dominated the legislative and the administrative branch, you ask the exact same questions and. In 2016, people answered the question with a resounding "I am Taiwanese." More than 90% of the people selected that particular option. So we really need to seriously look into what happened in these years、uh, it, for the entire island to change their、uh, sense of、uh, identity from Chinese to Taiwanese. This thing, oh, said, "It's a little bit ironic." 我认为是哦，两岸交流以后，反而促成我是台湾人这个意识抬头。我还记得我小时候，你知道，我们念书，你知道，书上都说哦，会讲长江黄河，你知道，所以他当时都认为我是中国人。可是有一天两岸交流的时候，他他真的跟那些大陆接接触的时候，他突然发现奇怪，我怎么跟他不一样？所以后来发现，你知道，哦，我是台湾人这个意识形态。是反而是因为台湾跟在一九八七年哦开放交流又反而出现的。So one of the reasons that、um, this particular dramatic change and shift in identities, I think, ironically, has something to do with the exchange、uh, that we opened up、uh, the across Taiwan Strait in 1987. So the permission of relatives to visit Taiwan, and also vice versa. And I do think that when you have people in Taiwan visit China. And then to somehow、um, trace、uh, everything they learned from textbook in terms of the Yangtze River, the the Yellow Rivers, and suddenly they realize that they are very very different from the people in China. And I think that sort of、uh, contributes to the fact that、uh, because of this recognition, the、uh, the rise of the Taiwan、uh, consciousness、uh, as a result, and then. Uh, contribute to this shift of identification. 另外问题是什么？在一开始的党国体制，你知道，那些所谓的统治阶层呢，主要是从中国大陆来，他们代表是中国。所以当他在党外运动开始在推翻这个时候，他当然总不会去继承他要攻击的对象，所以他选择的就是会台湾本土化。所以这有两个原因，一个是在推翻党国体制的过程当中，你知道。原来的统治阶级是中国符号的，然后在跟大陆交往当中，突然让很多台湾人发现奇怪，我怎么跟大陆不一样？有些种种原因，你知道，才出现了台湾的主体性。So the other reason that I think that contribute to this is because in the beginning of the party state system, those ruling elite they are equated. Uh, with mainland China, with、uh, this Chinese identity, and I do think that when you have the outside、uh, democratic movements to trying to subvert and trying to overturn the existing party state system, of course they will not identify with the people that they want to destroy the most. So on that level,、uh, that also contribute to. The shift and the change in attitude in terms of identification and the Taiwan consciousness. 或是这样的哦，我们这里是写台湾自主，我们并不是写台湾独立耶。因为这个台湾主体性虽然出现，你知道，但是它再走下去哦，那个独，你知道哦，台湾独立。坦白讲哦，因为中美对抗的局势，还有整个国际关系啊，它暂时是走不过去，所以它只是出现台湾主体性，但是并在现阶段。
看起来是没有办法再继续往台湾独立的这条方向很顺利的走下去，所以暂时被停在这个阶段。And in terms of the language that we're using here, we're talking about Taiwan subjectivity. We're talking about a self-governed China. I'm sorry, self-governed Taiwan. It is very intentional because I, you know, I don't believe that at this juncture, in terms of the current international relations、uh, between China and the United States, independence is a possibility, and this is as far as we can go in terms of our democratization process, in terms of our democratic development, and、uh, the establishment and also the emergence of Taiwan consciousness and Taiwan subjectivity is what we can do. Uh, you know the best that we can do at this point. 那事实上，在二零一四年的太阳太阳花运动，就这样，它是一个台湾年轻人突然崛起的。那我也认为了啊，从在台湾主体性过程当中，后来台湾就陷入了统独意识形态的争执，然后一直在那泥淖里面在打转，你在。所以事实上，二零一四年你知道哈，这个我第一次选台北市长的时候，我的口号就是推倒蓝绿的高墙。也就是说，台湾人开始在想说，我们是不是不要继续在这种统独的意识形态里面去打转，而且可以哎开始提出你的哈国家治理，哦，就说 national governance。So, in terms of the 2014, that's also mark a very important juncture of Taiwan's democratic development. This is the years that、um, the,、uh, the event or the incidents of the Sunflower Student Movement. I do think that that really、uh, galvanized the the younger generation to have a, a political awakening, and I think that is also when I was running、uh, as a mayor of Taipei for the first time. One of our、uh, one of my Uh, slogan is to tear down the walls of KMT and DPP.、Uh, specifically speaking, is the struggles or the、uh, constant bickering、uh, around the issues of in independence and unification. And this is something that I want. I do not want to dwell on, and I want、uh, to really find a different way out. This is 二零一四年哦，我宣布当。台北市长的一张照片，二零一四年二月十七号，在蒋渭水纪念公园哦，这个宣布参选台北市长的记者会，其实上面写的字哦，在十年后的今天看呢，那还是一样这样，改变台湾从首都开始，改变台北从文化开始，这是一场以文化为主体的社运动，对我来讲，你知道哦。不管是选举或是执政，它是一个改变政治文化的社会运动，这是一种新的思维。So,、uh, as you can see here, this is the pictures uh, uh, that taken on the day of my first official campaign、uh, gathering, and、uh, in front of the Jiang Weishui Memorial Square. And as you can see on the right, that is actually my campaign slogan. And I do think that、uh, it is still very relevant today. It reads, "To change Taiwan,、uh, that's change Taiwan by changing Taipei. That's change Tai, change Taipei by changing our culture. This is a social movement aiming to.、Uh, this is a cultural centered social movement. And I do think that this is a pretty new idea. Is to think about." Uh, it, it is about、uh, the election itself and the governance itself is indeed a social movement, and I'm gathering all the support I can to、uh, to help me make this particular social movement into a reality. 以前台湾的选举长这个样子。This is what the election was like before. 我的选我的选举都没有这些东西。所以它是一个新的文化的出现，我们没有跟过去的那一套一样。My election is nothing like this, and I, we really want to create a new election campaign, political culture into Taiwan. 所以二零一四年哦，我当时的 slogan 是 choice， 就是你要选旧的那个蓝绿
意识形态的恶斗，还是我们开始选一个新的政治文化？那很幸运的哦，在四年后的 re-election 当中，连任选举当中，哦，我们就是口号是 keep it real， keep it possible， 就是说，既然我们选择了一个新的政治，而且它也存活四年的，是不是我们可以照这个方向继续走下去？所以这是我当。台北市长八年了，是让我带来的台湾是一个新的政治文化。So、uh, here you can see that、uh, in 2014, my first mayor election, my slogan is choice. The choice to、uh, not being、uh, limited by the the false choices or the false dilemma of either unification or、uh, independence in between the blue and the red. That we can make a choice to find something new, to have a different political culture for Taiwan, and the 2018 on the right, that is my, that was my campaign slogan for my second re-election, and、uh, it is keep it real, keep it possible. It means that since we have made that choice four years ago, and we need to stay,、uh, stay on this particular course of action, stay、uh, in a very, very.、Um, Steadfast way, and then we can continue what we have been doing for the past four years. 那我们在台北市政府很多文化，第一个哦，财政纪律，你知道哦，我大概是台湾唯一的政府当中有还债的，其他每一个来都是负债。我当八年台北市长，还了五百七十亿，可是郑文灿在同样八年在桃园市长，他增加了一千两百亿。所以这种财政纪律是一种文化，就是说，他不会把这个国家，我们会把用国家的钱来当做用自己的钱，你知道，会比较会讲讲究这种财政纪律。再是呢 ，citizen participation 哦，我们常常用这种，比方说参与式预算 ，participatory budgeting， 就是说老百姓可以提案，那如果被政府采用，哎，我们可以拨预算给他。所以我认为，你知道，政治不应当是每四年一次投票，那中间人民跟政府之间完全没有、没有、没有 interaction， 这是不对的。所以我们是让市民可以来参与的政治。那我们也是，比方说我们在台北市有这种很多委员会呢，是透过这一种上网征选，你知道，让他们可以很多这种不相关的人可以进入市政府来。所以让政治不再只是哈，就是那几个公务员在处理，而是可以让很更多的市民来参加。做一点呢哈，为什么我在任内的时候，台北市贪污很少？一个很大的理由是透明。我们几乎所有重大工程，你知道哈，那些预算啊什么，全部都上网公开。我发现哦，全部公开以后，反而没有这种贪污的问题。So for me the The new cultures that I'm bringing as a mayor for the Taipei, the city of Taipei, the number one is fiscal discipline. I do think that I'm probably one of the only municipal or local governments that actually pay off the debts rather than、uh, accumulating even more debt.、Uh, during my tenure, I pay back 57 billion、uh, Taiwan dollars.、Uh, uh, in comparison, if you look at the、uh, local government or Taoyuan. Under the leadership of Chen Wenchan,、uh, during his tenure, he already accumulated 120 billion Taiwan dollars. So I, I do think that、uh, you know, for all politicians that、uh, or、uh, people who are in the position of power and governance, we definitely need to use the public's money as their, you know, they are your own, and to really adhere to physical discipline. And these. Second one here is the citizen participation that I bring into the political culture in Taiwan. And during my tenure,、uh, there, you know, I do not believe that the only time the citizens can participate in elections will be during the actual elections. I think that、uh, you know they should have、uh, the a voice, and they should be able to interact with the、uh, the government that they they、uh, select or they elect. And so、uh, I implemented participatory budgeting, so people and citizens can actually propose their own proposal. If they are selected, then the government will then、uh, help fund that particular project. And I also created、uh, different committees, and the, you know it's all online, and people can 
sign up to join different committees, different uh, meetings, hearings, and so that they are part of the governance of the local government as well. So I, I do think that that is another way of bringing uh, this type of new culture into Taipei City. Uh, in terms of transparency, so that I, I, I uh, through the online platform, everything, every project, every budgetary uh, plans and decisions have been um, somehow uploaded for everyone to see, for everyone to review, to, for everyone to get comments and feedback. So that sense of transparency is one of the major ways that uh, for, uh, for us to really uh, create a government that can be trusted and avoid any type and free from any type of corruption. So, of course, first you have me, Cohen Joe, first, and then uh, I brought my vision to the, the municipality of the Taipei city government, and uh, that particular culture then become my uh, legacy, and then 2019 funded the TPP. Party so the values and the spirit of the party very much represented by the three characters or three words that uh, we use uh, in our name. Taiwan, as I mentioned before, this concept of subjectivity, of Taiwan consciousness, a people should be uh, the core and the only uh, base of any type of uh, political decisions and political uh, policy. So it's all based on the people we serve. And party, as I, uh, I can quote uh, an African proverb, so if, you know, to go fast, you go alone, to go far, you go together. And I think that these three words uh, perfectly captures the values and the essence of uh, Taiwan People's Party. You so if you look at the, the names of the two major parties, the KMT has the word chi Chinese in it. Uh, and if you look at the, uh, the name of the DPP, uh, it doesn't have the word Taiwan in it. So it is a party, have a close tie with China, and the other one is uh, a party without Taiwan. Uh, uh, 他說希望我可以堅持台灣價值。我反問他說那你的台灣價值是什麼?很遺憾的到現在為止他都沒有回答這個問題。So to me, uh, part of the vision that is be a country with universal values and uh, to, to me I really don't think that there is such a thing that is so different in terms of uh, Taiwan values. For me to be able to actualize universal values in Taiwan it is indeed the Taiwan values. And uh, I remember one time uh, the current president Tsai Ing-wen asked me that uh, I hope, uh, she said to me that I hope that you will uh, really uh, keep your Taiwan values. Um, uh, and I asked her back that, uh, so how do you define Taiwan values? And at this point, he has, she hasn't answered me back. Uh, so I do think that for me, these values, universal values, are very much 
uh, something that we all share as world citizens and to uh, make sure that uh, they are actualized in Taiwan. It is indeed our Taiwan values as a party. So great is happiness and the joy for all in Taiwan. So we do believe that people are at the core of all we do as a political party. It should not be um, the ideological struggles and ideological issues that have no relevance uh, for the here and now. And that is indeed the reason why we want to ensure the greatest happiness and joy for all in Taiwan. 我在当台北市长之前已经当了三十年的外科医生了，所以很多外科医生的特色，你知道哈，也影响我的执政的作为。我们强调理性，瑞选的，就是不会用口号治国。我们很务实，就是说对外科医生来讲，你知道哈，我
在这个幻灯片里面显示的。So for our 2024 presidential campaign, these are our major slogans and our principles for to build an and then to establish an inclusive society. We are not going to somehow continue to to be involved, engage in the kind of divisive. Uh, struggles between the blue and the red, unification and uh, independence, and for national governments, uh, governance, as I mentioned before, it's going to use the approach of uh, being pragmatic and being rational and being scientific uh, for our governance. For the internal affairs, uh, I do think that it is important to have coalition governments, but right now, because what has been going on. Within the Taiwan politics, is that if you have KMT uh, become the uh, the ruling party, then they will do everything they can can to eliminate their opponents, which is the uh, DDP, and vice versa. When DDP uh, is the ruling party, then they will somehow eliminate as much as they can of the KMT um, influence. So I do think that in order for us to Work well together. It is to create a coalition government, and then we have a united Taiwan uh, as a result. And for external affairs, I do think that at this juncture, the most uh, we can do, uh, the the only choice for us is to have a uh, self determination and self govern Taiwan. And of course, uh, we want to do everything we can to maintain the peace across Taiwan Strait, so that uh, we can prosper peacefully. 事实上，这几个主张哦，也凸显了台湾民众党跟国民党与民进党的不同呢。呃，在这上面。So also by looking at these slogans, you can see how the TPP party is very different from the two major parties, KMT and DPP. 所以最后来讲，我们说 TPP 嘛，哈，台湾 People Party， and I we hope. 我们是一个台湾 is pragmatic and the profession, and our goal is peace and the prosperity. P P. So since our name is T P P, I am going to reiterate the P P can mean more than just People's Party. It also means we are bringing pragmatism and then professionalism into political culture. We are also pursuing. Peace and prosperity in Taiwan. So, this is the last. So, 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 so
uh, sort of going in and out of the, uh, the, the airspace, it's not going to solve the problem. So I'd like to ask a question about uh, your views on managing not just cross-strait relations, but relations with the United States, since you're here in America for this trip. And I wanted to thank you again for uh, honoring us by coming to Columbia University. So I just say the, uh, the United States has, uh, United States experts and some officials have been uh, relatively supportive of the current Taiwan government's uh, approach to these problems under the theory that the current DPP government has not uh, done a lot of very provocative pro-independence activities um, that would uh, potentially cause unnecessary tensions across the strait, but at the same time has taken Taiwan's defense needs seriously so as to create a strong deterrent against forced unification in the future uh, by the mainland. So I wanted to ask you your views on both of those things to follow up on my, my colleague and, and advisor's uh, question. Uh, how would you open up those contacts across the Taiwan Strait? What measures would you take to open up contacts across the Taiwan Strait? What measures would you avoid? And what, what is your view on Taiwan's defense needs and what would your policies be about uh, some of the new initiatives in strengthening and, and diversifying Taiwan's uh, uh, defense capabilities and the relationship with the United States? Just 就是有关台美的关系要怎么样去做运作那美国现在政府在这方面其实对于民进党的一些作为其实蛮支持的包括他们合作要去把国防军武然后造成有一个贺主力让这些强制统一的状况不会再进行发生 那您可不可以提到一下说您自己对于这样子怎么样去把两岸的这样子的交流来打开是用透过什么样的方式去做那你对于像这些国防军力的这些备战的是有什么样的看法 uh, Because we, we share the same value, so we are important to each other 我们站在美国这边是没问题 但是并不需要因为这样就去对中国恶言相向所以我觉得是这样台湾还是在民主同盟里面这没问题但是台湾在厌恶中国的时候还是可以采取一种愿意交流的这种态度啊但是这样要求两岸的和平还是要备战因为
military preparations. And with drills, with mobilization plans, I do think that uh, you know, as a, as a mayor of Taipei, I can say that you know, we are not prepared yet, military speaking, uh, to, to really uh, want to uh, follow the directions or the sentiments of the DDP to really fight against China. Hi, Dr. Chris, thank you so much for coming here to Colombia today. Uh, you mentioned that you wanted to build a coalition government. I wonder how are you planning to balance the two major parties' forces and to rebuild the trust between the two parties?所以這個position你只選說誰適合做 so, in terms of the coalition government that I mentioned on the grander scale, it's already been implemented while I was the mayor of Taipei City for eight years. During my ten years, that uh, uh, for me, a very a key way of using people or to, to uh, collaborate with people is to think about who are the best to do certain things without taking into consideration or part, their party affiliations. So if you look at the actual um, composition of the, the city councils, uh, while I was the, the mayor of, uh, near, uh, of Taipei City, uh, among the 63 council seats, zero. Uh, seats was occupied by our party member. And, um, and later on, uh, recently, we have one seat uh, occupied by our uh, party members. But at the same time, we can still run uh, the uh, municipal governance very, very smoothly uh, without really paying close attention and, and to really uh, put the party affiliation uh, sort of in the back seats and really think about efficiencies and in terms of uh, and the performance of uh, what people do uh, as they are serving uh, the Taipei city. So uh, that's my take on, uh, in terms of the um, coalition government. Uh, I'll, I'll use Chinese first and then I can translate that in English. Uh so, uh, thanks a lot for the presentation. It's really interesting and fascinating. I just want to explore, probably expand a little bit from the slides that you were presenting before. When you campaign for the mayor at the Taipei city, that you said it is a social movement started from the culture. I want to expand the cultural perspective a little bit more because what I know the mainland and the Taiwan has a very strong cultural bond. So besides the political culture and besides what you mentioned about the democratic and all of the differences between the political system between the mainland and the and the Taiwan and thinking of the common linkages between between the mainland China and the Taiwan culture what is the most unique part of the Taiwan culture in your perspective 那基本上啊他們跟大陸同文同有相同的歷史語言宗教文化台灣在過去四百年當中被荷蘭人西班牙人然後鄭成功
所以很少有一个地方哦，在短短的几四百年内啊，被这么不同的文化统治过。而且还有一点呢、啊，在中国大陆所谓的改朝换代，那只是改变缴税的对象，因为整个语整个文化是没有改变。而在台湾哦，改朝所谓的改朝换代的，它连语言都不一样，因为因为荷兰人的哦，西班牙人的哦，明朝、清朝，而且还有一个很重要。后来的政权都仇视前面的政权，然后进行那个文化的铲除运动。所以，所以台湾是这样的、啊，台湾跟中国大陆有相同的语言、历史语言、宗教文化 ，OK， 真的没有问题。但是台湾有一个中国没有的，在这四百年当中有一个它没有的巨大的、多次剧烈的变动，这是一个很大不同。So I do agree that there are a lot of、uh... Things that we share in common between Taiwan and mainland China: history, language, religion, culture. But at the same time, I think that there's something very, very unique of the experience of Taiwan's being either colonized or influenced by、uh, many different outside cultures, including、uh, the Dutch, the Spanish, the Zhen、uh, Chenggong, and the Qing Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, and all the way to the U.S. influence. And I do think that.、Uh, Uh, this is something that you you don't really see、uh, in China, and、uh, and every time when you have a new culture coming in, they for some they always、uh, trying to get rid of the previous、uh, influence and the previous uh, colonization um, uh, sort of tactics of、um, you know in terms of language because the language are not even different、uh, are even not even the same、uh, for all these different forces coming in. So I do think that yes,、uh, on some level we do share a lot in common, but there's something、uh, very unique about what happened in Taiwan, and as a result, that you do uh, see uh, how the, sort of from the conversions of that to the diversions of others. So I have a question from our listeners on Zoom. Yes, there's two related questions online.、Um, the first comes from Ozzy Yin. Uh, from the Taiwan Central News Agency, who was curious if you had a comment on the、uh, the PLA's current military drills over the last couple of days around Taiwan.、Uh, and the second related one, feel free to answer one or both.、Um, was someone was curious what your thoughts are on the current mandatory cons-、uh, conscription policy being changed, possibly from four months to one year. 两个想看到你的想法，就是对解放军最近在。第一点哦，中共是一定会步步紧逼的。哦、这个这个是这样的哦，这也是中国，我、哦、应该这样形容。面是说，一开始是狗咬尾巴，那、啊、后来发现是尾巴咬狗，那、啊、最后发现尾巴掉了自己会动，这什么意思？你知道？中国大陆哈、哦，鼓动民主，民主的那种。民族民族主义，你知道？我发现到现在为止，你知道，中国政府对他鼓动的这些民族主义啊，已经常常失去控制，反正这个民族主义在操纵中国政府。所以，当美国有什么行动的时候，你知道，本来中国可以一笑置之的，哦，就懂得 care， 就是要变成他一，因为他国内的这种民族主义，他变成一定要那些独生型的。所以这个这个也是，所以老师讲哦，他觉得，所以有时候是这样的、哦，感觉上好像美国已经知道如何让中国一对头，哦，他他就，我当然不能说美国在玩中国了，你看，哦 ，at least he know the United States know how to irritate him, irritate irritate China。所以所以有时候是这样的、哦，中国应当要能够。既然中国是世界大国，你知道，他能够对自己有更大自信，不需要说一定要在这种做这种军事演习，做这是他 get 球姿态。我我倒觉得他他已经是世界大国，他何必这么没有自信？这第一点。第二点呢、哦，疫情从四个月变成一年，你知道，重点是他的内容啊。如果那因为我在台湾我也当过兵，你知道，如果当兵都在油漆跟。割草，你知道
，从四个月变一年，我看还是没有用。所以重点不是时间，重点是康田德。So, uh, the for the first question, you know, I do think that uh, if I can use a metaphor, is that um, it, you know, the dogs wagging the tails, and now turns to the tails wagging the dogs, and now the the tails falls off, and it's actually will wag itself. So, in a way, it's also, uh, I do think that uh, because the the rise of nationalism in mainland China, and uh, they will react to things that, um, because they have to, um, because the, the, the nationalism is so rampant, so out of control to a point that it, had, it dictate the reaction the, the mainland Chinese government need to uh, respond. So I do think that uh, you know, without insinuating that the, the, the US government is playing with or irritating mainland Chinese government, I do think that they know exactly what buttons to push and to get certain reaction. So for me, uh, I really think that if uh, China is not the, the superpower um, or number two power in the world, and I do think that maybe they can uh, be a little more self-confident about uh, how to deal with these issues and they can simply don't care. And then uh, without feeling that, uh, that they're, they're required and uh, it is warranted, to have these type of reactions for military drills, military exercises, and uh, that everything that you just mentioned that what's happening recently. And in terms of the uh, compulsory uh, military service to extend that from four months to a year, I do think that more importantly, it's not duration of the training. It is about what exactly are you training for? If you are just pulling the months from four to 12, but you're still painting houses and painting buildings and mowing lawns, I don't think that will uh, make any difference in terms of the readiness and the pre preparations uh, for war that we are aiming for. Saying we are out of time. Do we have time for one more question from that side of the room or we don't? You have to leave. Does anybody over here want to ask a question? Otherwise, we'll ask the question. Sorry. Okay. Hey, 你好，柯主席，我是《世界日报》驻纽约的记者。我想。呃，因为咱们谈到台湾的政治，因中国永远会是一个不可能忽视掉的房间里的大象，所以我想了解一下，在您和民众党的论述里，中国到底是一个什么角色？是敌人，还是有可能争取一下的潜在的伙伴？就希望，呃，不知道您能不能用最简单的一个。定义去描述一下，谢谢。Do you want to translate? <laughs> so the the question was that,、um, of course, if you talk about、uh, having a new party in Taiwan, the the elephant in the room will be mainland China, and in terms of how you see、um, uh, internal affairs and external affairs and everything that you just talked about earlier, I do want you to share with us uh, uh, to the best of your ability. Whether or not, how do you position mainland China?、Uh, do you see them as enemies? Do you see them as partners? And how do you really、um, handle、uh, the you know, and position mainland China in your、um, political policies and values? It's a need for a landlord. Let's say it like this. Actually, as a Chinese culture expert. 我觉得中国有很强的 psychological trauma， 因为 in the past two in the at least in the past two hundred years， China was always tortured by Western superpower， and the, someday suddenly China became becomes a becomes a superpower。你知道在我们中国里面，习武熬成婆是在什么？你们有没有翻译 ？So first that、um... Uh, so the daughter-in-law now has paid her dues and now become the the mother-in-law now. So that's the best I can do. <laughs> the the daughter-in-law finally becomes the mother-in-law. 
就是说他把他过去受到的欺负，你知道，加倍去欺负他的媳妇人。So the trauma and the cruelty received now、uh, it's turned for China to pay it forward.、Uh, now, now uh, they are have become the the mother-in-law. 